Hello everyone. Now we will see another example for the field monthly exchange process. So in this scenario, we have changed a little bit. Like alpha equal to five and q is equal to eighty-three. But I am not going to prove whether five is a primitive root of eighty-three because it's a very tedious process. Just see five power one mod eighty-three, five power two mod eighty-three up to five power eighty-two mod eighty-three. Of course, there are some shortcuts to do that. But here I am not concerned about proving whether five is a primitive root of eighty-three or not. Rather, I will focus on a different by key exchange process. Now, just see the question goes like this: If the prime number is eighty-three and the primitive root is five, and if the user A is having his private key as six, what is user A's public? What is user A's public? If user B is having the private key as ten, and what is user B's public? And what is the shared secret key? That is KA or KB or KA equal to KA. Now we'll solve this. Since the global elements are given, we'll start with the process. Let's take XA. So user A is having the private key as six, and we are asked to compute what is the public key. We know what is the public key. Public key of user A is alpha power XA mod Q. Just substitute what is alpha. Six to the power x a. X a user is choosing six. Now, what is the value of alpha here? Five. So five to the power six mod eighty-three. If you calculate five to the power six mod eighty-three, you will get twenty-one as the result. So you just try solving this using modular exponentiation like five power one mod eighty-three, then double it five power two mod eighty-three, then double it five power four mod eighty-three, and then five power six can be written as five power four into Five power two. Okay, so five power six can be written as five power four mod eighty three into five power two mod eighty three. Okay, you just solve it, and I will be getting twenty one as the result. Okay, now this twenty one user A is going to give it to user B. Now this part we have calculated. What is Y A? Now Y A we have computed as twenty one. Now if user B is having the private key as ten, what is his public key? What is his public key? His public key, the formula is alpha to the power of his private key mod q, which is equal to what is the value of alpha? Pi. Pi to the power is x p is ten. Pi to the power ten mod eighty three. If we calculate, we get y b is equal to eleven. Use modular exponentiation. Pi power ten can be written as pi power eight into pi power two mod. Just calculate and substitute. We get y b equal to Okay. Now this Y B is going to exchange with user A. Okay. Now user A knows what is Y B, which is equal to 11, and user B knows what is Y A, which is equal to 21. Now let us say the shared secret key. We can either compute K A or K B because we know K A and K B are going to be the same. So K A equal to what he has received Y B. Y B to the power this private key is A mod. What is y b? Eleven. Eleven to the power six mod eighty three. K b? How k b is computed? It is y a because what is receiving from user a that value to the power is private key x mod q, which is equal to y a is twenty one power this private key is ten mod eighty three. If you compute. At the end, both will be ending up with nine. So K A is equal to nine, and K B is equal to nine. Okay. Now we have solved this. The shared secret key is nine. But remember, the Feynman key algorithm is prone to man in the middle attack. Thank you for watching.